Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's gonna to be time for some Europa Universe Sauce 4 as Russia in our third realm campaign. So we are uh, gonna invade the Great Horde now and I think it's full annexation. Yeah. Yep. Yes, it is. over to there let's take that let's take that let's go over here go to Sarai and ooh, more colonies good so we're also going to try and embrace our institution we will not take any more tech until we can get our institution so it's gonna happen eventually right we have a lot of money which is good so we can we can take our institution <clears throat> 42% upon arrival here in Ostracon that is very impressive very very impressive see here Gail met YouTube says in the twitch chat he's got to go take care of yourself bud thank you so much for uh, coming by the stream it's been really fun wow it's 71% we could not take that forward that is unfortunate what excuse me Burgundy's the Emperor now uh should we claim Austria's throne Ottomans are being so destroyed. Joseph the Second von Habsburg of 424. Do we claim Austria's throne? Succession war between Russia and France if the sky dies. We'll see. I might get a PU over Austria. That would be pretty sick. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. We'll keep an eye on it. Um... If I get the PU, I'll accept it. You know, I mean, I guess I could roll marry this guy and just claim it now. Um, how strong is he? Burgundy's got twenty four thousand. Who are his allies? The Empire would join. The Empire, Alsace, Brittany, Spain, Genoa. Yeah, so basically, it'd be me versus all of Catholic Europe, probably, to to fight a succession war with Austria. Yeah, Burgundy would join, Brabant would join, General wouldn't, Ravensburg, Baden, Augsburg, they all would. Twitch chats tell me to do it, so I guess I will. Uh, oh, they actually refuse the diplomatic, um, the royal marriage now. They have one too many diplomatic relations. Well, if you say so, we'll see if he, uh, if he dies. He's, he's actually 31 years old, so he could die. It's not, it's not out of the question. Yeah. We need to consolidate Russia, though, uh, before I think we try and mess around with Europe, so. Let's get some troops in Penza. We will have another revolt. Not a big surprise. Hey, a 422. Cool. So we have a massive military force poised to invade... The Commonwealth. And I think we do so. He's actually, he hasn't even cored all this territory yet. So, if we attack him right now, at this moment, absolutely right now, he doesn't even get a lot of these cores. The thing is, is I want this institution, I think, before we, uh, am I willing to base a currency? Or at least take a loan? I'll take a loan. Fine. I want to embrace this. Because we need, we need these texts. We need a lot of stuff. Taking another idea group, we have religious, defensive, plutocratic. I'm leaning towards influence, to be perfectly honest with you. Administrative is nice too, though. I'm thinking influence. Diplomatic is really cool. Uh, I'll put the question to the Twitch chat. Influence, diplomatic, or administrative? I'm leaning towards influence myself. This would open up so many new options for conquest. Economics never a bad idea either. Trade's not bad either.
And administrative. The corporation cost is really cool, but we already have it. We already have corporation cost. Minus 10%. The aggressive expansion is what I'm, what I'm concerned with, because attacking Catholics is pretty bad on aggressive expansion. Let's see... I'm thinking influence for now. Let's keep an eye on it. Okay, so we attack the Commonwealth now. Right now. We have a loan, but that's okay. We, uh, we sh Our finances and everything should be strong enough to declare this war. Diplomatic move? Damn it, we're losing claims. Awesome claims here. Okay. Who joins? Ravensburg and Cologne. That's it. Nobody else. Commonwealth, what's your troop strength? I've got 78,000 men, 66 force limit. He's got 46,000 men, 5,000. He's got 94 force limit, 46,000 men, 5,000 manpower which makes me believe that he has a lack of troops we were we have a heavily fortified border up here so he's unlikely to really take any of these forts quickly so i say we lead invasion into here take tembov really fast just take all of this literally all of the ukraine is unfortified holy shit where are my cannons yeah we're gonna move cannons to tembov we're gonna move combat stacks down here Probably like 45,000 here, 50,000 here, and then like 40,000 here. What's this stack? This is uh, 4,000 artillery. Okay. See, we declare for Tembov. Let's do it. This should be a relatively simple war, I think. He's probably got his troops in the capital somewhere. Battle of the Northern Baltic. This is Tech. He's got Tech 13. I've got Tech 13. I'd like to have Tech 14, but we're a little behind on on military points for that. In theory, I could go to the... Um, I don't need the manpower. I do not need the manpower. I'd rather have the points, I think. Burgers. We can grant monopoly charters for them. That sounds good. Clergy. Yeah, I want to get to tech 14. If we had tech 14, we would just wreck this guy forever and ever. He's mobilizing for battle. Did he merc up at all? Oh, yeah. He just grabbed like 10,000 mercs right now. Oh, shit. All right. Let's grab some troops. Let's get some troops together. We will try and engage him when the timing's right. And I do not feel it's correct right now. Let's at least take this fort. Let's take this fort before we consider any other actions. Oh, wow. He's actually got decent arty. Uh, he's actually got decent arty. Arty? <laughs> he's got he's got decent arty, guys. <laughs> We're at 66 overextension. Wow, I actually did not know that. Okay, uh, I say we attack that stack. That's a 243. I think I'll go ahead. Does there, is there any cannons? Yeah, there's a few. Yeah, he's. he's ooh! Oh, yeah. Now, Alright, now's the time to attack. We just got Relentless Drill. Beautiful. And we just took Tambov. Beautiful. Supplies for the Cossacks? Yeah, we're, we're gonna spend some money, send the Cossacks what they need. Let's go for that stack real fast. Beautiful, dude. 70,000 versus 16, and he's got um, equal discipline, equal tactics. I've got a 1.4 morale bonus over him. That, uh, that's scary. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Split these stacks. Nah, we'll do a three-way split, actually. A threesome. over here let's siege down more forts let's keep some troops nearby um let's just send some quick stacks to occupy some of this but i need just i just want forts in the north i just want to occupy just a lot oh what the fuck oh we're gonna lose these troops 
you bastards. I can't really reinforce those troops. They're a little too far away for my liking. And I'm actually gonna keep that 18 stack there. God damn it, we're gonna lose this stack. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Mmm, he's gone. Any rebels? We might have some rebels, actually. We probably want to use some of the Russian abilities just to help us out with that. Let's go over the government. Uh, let's do... Yep. Reform the Subednik, and then we're going to use this guy here to support the Oprachina. We're taking a little bit of attrition. It's unfortunate, but I think we're okay right now. We take a river crossing here. This is a 243 general. It's 21, 4, and 8. We have 37, 5, and 2. We have no artillery whatsoever in that stack. I say we still do it though. Let's see how it goes. Rolls, it's gonna come down to rolls. Damn, we have an 11. No, we have a 10. We have a 10 to a 5 in the fire phase. We got a 1 to a 2 in the shock phase. That's unfortunate. Another 10 to a 6 in the fire phase. This is his king. We have a 7 to a 2 in the shock phase. Or, yeah, 7 to a 2 in the shock phase. Decisive victory, actually. Yeah, we, we just outnumber this guy. We have too many troops for him to really deal with. Nice. Good stuff. Nice. Ooh. Okay, before we do that, then, let's go for that dude. He's got Crimean Separatists. I may actually leave them alone. Oh my god, this guy's murking up pretty gnarly. Pretty heavily. He's still in tech 13. If he goes to tech 14, we're gonna have some issues, I think. Uh, Transylvania, Serbia, Bosnia, Armenia, Georgia, still independent of the Ottomans now. The Mamluks, they're still here as well. Do I want to kill this rebel stack? I don't really want these guys to keep keep sieging down my stuff because we're running we're running the war against the Commonwealth. I don't really want them to to mess around with that. So let's go and engage this guy. Uh, this guy. Wow, this guy got an eleven to a seven in the fire phase. Uh, two to a four in the shock. Oh, okay. Yeah, we won the. Okay, we won the battle. We did. Infantry combat ability for us. Thank you. Okay, so we're losing a lot of men. We are about 15,000 men in the hole, but we should be just fine, actually. We're winning this war pretty decisively. This guy's gonna attack me in Chernigov. I think, actually, maybe... Who gets there first? 17th of June? Yeah, he gets there first, unfortunately. Um, let me put a fire guy in charge. 422 fire. This guy's gonna attack me now. This is a one stack. Okay. He's getting a little close. Let's keep an eye on him. This is a combat stack, really. This guy's really meant for sieging. Hey, native assimilation in my colonies. Cool. Let's make some more of colonies, man. Let's make some more colonies. Yeah, it costs 20 diplo for each of these colonies, which is a very small price to pay considering the cost of expiration ideas and other things. Oh, you fucker. You bastard. No, the artillery's in the front row, you fucking... God damn it! We have to retreat from this battle. Run! Fuck you, Commonwealth! Fuck you! We got a minus two in that location. God damn it, man. We just lost like fucking 12,000 men for no reason at all. You piece of fucking shit. Let's go kick his ass. Uh, let's go down here. God damn it. Reinforcing artillery is expensive, dude. Let's grab a discipline guy. We're on the wall girl, right? Yeah. I really wish I had Force March right now. We don't have it yet, right? Yeah, we need Tech 15. Of 
Foreign trade competition? Yeah, through mercantilism. I'll take that. That's good. You gotta be shitting me, dude! God damn it. Why am I dealing with your separatists, man? Come on. Mm -hmm. I put a three shot guy in charge. Ugh. This is annoying. Get your fat ass back here, man. I will pursue you to the ends of the earth. Don't make me. Alright, let's try and catch him. Oh my god! You've got to be kidding me, guys. We should be just fine in that battle, I think. Our morale is pretty good. So is our discipline, actually. We have a, we have less troops, but we should still be okay. We're actually going to stack wipe him, I think. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, no, no. That was wrong. Okay, we've lost all our manpower. We have to replenish now. This guy's going to take this fort up here. And I have to kill these rebels. 35,000 Ostrakhani rebels. Can you believe that? Oh, my God. That is annoying. Hey, an icon of Russia was forgotten. We don't have any patriarch authority to hire another. It's unfortunate, but that's okay. Okay, so we've been drained of manpower. We've been drained of manpower. We need way more war score for this, though. I think we've drained him of resources, however. It's unlikely I think he can continue for very long. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm actually willing to attack him there. We actually did just get a tech advantage against him, so let's see how it goes. It's good, uh, we have a 4-2 or a 0-3. We'll keep the 4-2 in charge. This guy's also got infantry combat ability, I believe, for his troops. Oh, he's got prestige from land battles. That's what it is. This guy, the Master of Arms, has infantry combat ability. See, Twitch chat says the main problem with the Commonwealth War is the length of the border. This is true. This is true. Yeah, we should be just fine, actually. Even with uh, equal numbers, we actually beat him one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, we actually did pretty good. Okay, we have to siege more, though. We're not sieging enough. We have to siege more. We need more arty. We need to siege more stuff. We also probably should think about refortifying our... Uh, some of our border forts. I can probably get rid of some forts, but I need to upgrade the ones that exist. That is most likely what's going to need to happen. Shift consolidating all these guys. What's Tugunska? He's probably going to move back to some forts, but I think we'll be just fine. Are you shitting me? God damn, Commonwealth. You have some balls, dude. Ooh, see, that's what I thought, bitch. Fuck out of here. Let's go for border forts. Still on the war goal. Yes, yes we do. Shift consolidate. Uh, let's blockade him, I guess. I don't think we have enough. I don't think we have enough ships to blockade him effectively, but we can try it. The royal heretic, Tsar Alexander the First, announces marriage to Ulrika Eleonora. Oh yeah, our wife, who's a three five six, which is impressive, is actually uh, Catholic, I think. Uh, national rest plus two. Ooh. Why do I have so many goddamn rebels, man? Can you guys explain this shit to me? Yeah, I guess I'll try and divorce the queen. Let's take a look at our uh, colonies. Okay, let's take this fort quickly. We need to move some troops back over here. I'd rather not have him take the war goal back. We should try and resist him over there. We have really good siege ability, though. Okay, so most of our colonies are being finished, actually. We're going to be in Siberia before 1600, I think. That's actually pretty impressive, dude. 
That's pretty impressive, I'm not gonna lie. It, it almost seems kind of like a historical impressive, but... I'll take what I can get. I'm not gonna complain. Shift can sort it. I say we attack him there. That's right, bitch. Fuck out of here. Finish him! Alright, uh, East Aginska is done. Mortal Kombat! Oh shit, we might want to withdraw from this position, I think. Let's go to Piskov and hang out there for a while. Mm, no, we'll hold position. 31 war score. I'm actually wondering what locations we want to take. This guy's a lot of money. Like, I want this land. We want to push him back west. We want to push him back west. The thing is, we don't have enough war score for that, really. I guess in theory I can attack his armies. Where the hell are you going, man? He's going, like, all the way around my country. It's so weird. Let's take a look at our colonies. We, we are actually getting these colonies just very, very quickly. Actually, really impressive. How many? How many yeah, we're 17,000 manpower in the hole. Ooh, we need to uh, merge up here. Defensive position in Kursk. I have no leader. Payment of Yasek. While it is a vast and untamed region, only traversable in many places due to its rivers, Siberia is not an empty land. Either 1580 has been an unusually productive year for the natives, or our tax collectors have been an unusually efficient. Ooh, some free money. Sweet. Hmm. Jesus, look at this, man. This guy's, like, way over the butt hell over there. I have low enthusiasm, huh? Why? Russian military strength, relative strength of alliances. Are you kidding me? This guy's actually... This guy's, like, more men than I do now. We actually have comparable numbers. The thing is, is he's got mercenaries, and I don't. Um, I guess we'll skip the money. Well, actually, dude, I really kind of do want to continue on with this war. There's not a very excessive reason why I shouldn't. Right? I mean, I'm not really being hard-pressed or anything. I can even probably push for Warsaw right now. After I take this fort, we can go to Warsaw really quick. Would not be very difficult. Kept that on admin? Of all damn things? Really? All right. Commonwealth, you better give me this shit. I'm serious, man. Uh, yeah, we're gonna actually... Let's... let's. You know what, man? If you're gonna be unreasonable, we're gonna go for uh, Warsaw. He's being unreasonable. He's being unreasonable. We're going for Warsaw. Oh, there we go. He's gonna give me all that. Yeah, give me... Uh, you wanna give me that? Just make the borders look nice? Actually, yeah, give me that to make the borders look nice. Um, how's our extension? It's gone. So actually, I, I actually think we should continue the war. You know what? Yeah. We have claims everywhere. We have so much shit that we need to conquer. Why stop now? There's no real reason to. I have money. I don't have any manpower, but that's not really holding us back, is it? Yeah. This is like a reverse Blitzkrieg. Holy crap. Wow, look at that. We're actually still making a lot of money, even at war. Oh no, he's taking all this territory back, shit. Uh, 
yeah, let's take Warsaw. Once we take Warsaw, I think he's going to be very, very unwilling to continue. That's right, bitch. Give me this. Beautiful. Okay. War exhaustion needs to come down. Uh, disputed succession with Sweden? Are you shitting me? Yeah, it looks like they had some sort of pretender or something. That's kind of curious. If this guy dies, we get a, you know, we get one of our, one of our, uh, one of our, of our dynasty on the throne. That's for Sweden. Okay. Anybody else? Austria looks like he did get an heir. Joseph II is, uh, you know, he's not going to get a disputed succession. Okay. We'll see what happens with Sweden then. Fine. Okay, yeah, so these rebel problems, they could have been an issue. Actually, we would have had quite a few rebel problems if we had probably continued any longer, I guess. We're out of manpower, so it means that we have only a limited supply of troops to really deal with the manpower issues, or the, the rebel issues. Oh my god, we have Sunni Zealous way over there. We had Siberian Separatists? I didn't even know that. This is the one thing about Russia, dude, is just it's so damn large. We have, we have to be so many places at once. It's annoying. Yeah, I go put down some rebels. I know you're going to take some attrition on the way, and there's not really too much I can do about that. Sorry. Now he's converting all of this territory back to Sunni. Our rights. National unrest at burgers. Oh, cool. Thanks. Um, we can make states into, uh, or we can make territories into states now. Anti-clericalism. Yeah, give me some money. I love this relaxing music. Yeah, I'm not really sure what happened with Sweden. They must have had pretenders or something. Something happened there. Something occurred. Wow, that was a pretty, that was a pretty nice battle. This is a very nice looking country though, Russia. Wow, finally the end of the internal conflicts? You know how long they long ago they got that? That was years ago. That was absolutely years ago. Okay, so I say we get rid of the forts in like Novgorod, Betsk, probably Moscow, Ryzon, Tambov. Uh yeah. Least in Ryzon. Maybe Moscow will keep that one. I don't think we need one in Nizhinovgrad or Kazan. I don't think so. I mean, they're expensive, man. Excellent supplies. Heavy ship costs, light ship costs. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. We have a Fort in Ostracon, too. That's right. Beautiful. That's good. I like that. Let's see. A huge shared some bits. Cool, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Let's see what he said. Cheer, 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 cheer. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Great horde separatists. There they are. There they are. Uh, yeah, we're still waiting for the war exhaustion to come down so we can core. Although, to be honest, it's really not that big of a deal. We actually, uh, we're doing just fine on points, to be perfectly fair. <laughs> we have, we have just plenty of admin because we've been generating 15 for the last few damn years. Our king has actually been a really good king. I'm not gonna lie. This Habsburg king, he's been a pretty good king. I must be perfectly honest. Okay, so we can do that. We can make some stuff in the states. Ooh, that was expensive. Jesus. Uh, Nizhny Novgorod, you go to the burgers. And Kazan, you will go to the burgers. Not right now, but you will. Let's 
keep an eye on disputed successions around the place. Any more Hapsburgs anywhere? The Palantinate, apparently. Ooh. Let's mobilize some troops here. Manpower is actually, like, not even coming back. It's actually, like, still declining. We're, like, losing more men than we are, uh... Than we're gaining per month for recruitment. You know, I've always kind of wondered, what does manpower exactly represent? Does it represent troops that voluntarily sign up for the army, or does it represent levies? They literally make no mention of it whatsoever. Ever. In European Resource War. They really don't. They just never mention it. And, and like... What I really like about Victoria 2, for example, is that the manpower actually comes from somewhere. That is a pretty cool... That is something you can't get everywhere, man. I'm not gonna lie. That, that's always been pretty pretty amazing in my eyes. But then again, Victoria 2 is better than any game Paradox has ever made, ever. So. Let's see. Let's go protect trade in the Baltic Sea. We're finally getting sailors? Wow. Hunting accident. Oh, shit. Our 452 heirs died? <gasps> That's bad. That's real bad. That is worrisome. Finally lost that theologian. Let's grab that inflation reduction, dude. Oh, no. He's a... Yeah, he's a national text modifier guy. Kasim separatists. In provinces I can't pronounce. Okay. See, Twitch chat says you should raise some Streltsy to help with the manpower issues. Yeah, but it raises my stability cost. Even though we've been at plus three stability for a long time. I do get worried about it. I, I get worried that we would have to use the stability cost, but we have Streltsy in our armies and they're, it's just, you know, it's expensive. So, I do worry. So. Let's see, 52 and no air. Time to panic. Uh, Ottomans. What happens if we die? Are you kidding me? If I die, we get Sweden's dynasty? That's kind of strange. Uh, that's weird. Oh yeah, huh? We have we have to raise our maintenance because of the damn rebels. That's right. The dynamic cabinet of Alexander the First. Yeah, he's cheaper to employ. I'll actually employ him. That's good. Wait, who do we have now? Oh, that's right. We have a spy master now. I'd actually probably prefer the spy master. Yeah, that's fine. It's okay. We skipped on a little bit of points, but that's that's fine. That's all right. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and take a break here. Uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, as always. I hope you guys are enjoying this campaign. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much.